So here we go, LG Vista. Uh, this is one of the latest LG smartphones to come out for AT&T. Once again, the shout out goes to the review unit. And I believe this is a 5.7 inch display. I'm going to sit the device aside. Typically, there's not much in these boxes anymore, which is the case here. Just power charger, of course. Get your battery. I do like the quick start guide, so I will look at that real quick. Um, 3.5 millimeter head jack at the top. Infrared port. Laser focus. They always do a nice job with this. I actually wish you know more people would do this because it just kind of shows you a brief overview if you're not uh, familiar with how to use phones. So here you go. Wow. Pretty big phone. This is a big phone. LG Vista. We're going to go ahead and start comparing this thing right off the jump. Took the plastic off there, off the back. So, very shiny back, uh, reminiscent of, I'm going to say like S4 or maybe the last uh, G2. This is compared to a Moto X. Obviously, much bigger, 4.7 versus the uh, the 5.7. Um, very huge difference here. The thinness... I want to say the edge goes to the Vista here, a little, just a tad bit thinner than the uh, Moto X. Next, we have up against the HTC One M8. Um, both big phones, obviously, but this is the Vista is definitely wider. Uh, I want to say it, it's heavier. The uh, HTC One M8 is definitely lighter, but obviously that's more metal build, and the thinness is about. I want to say the, the tad end goes to the Vista, but it is a lot wider, so keep that in mind. So we're powering up the Vista now. Also comparing it to the Galaxy S5. Um, comparable from an aspect of kind of both plastic builds. Thickness about the same. Obviously the Vista is wider and taller. You know, bigger screen. Last but not least, the Galaxy Note 3. And this pretty much matches just up with it exactly because they're both 5.7 inch phones. Honestly, to a T, these things match each other. Uh, they're actually both these companies originate uh, originate in South Korea, anyhow. So it would they're their main competitors there. So they're pretty much almost mirrors, uh, it, you know, in terms of you know size of the device. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So looking at the Vista. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's just see what we get in out of the box uh, on the device. Power buttons on the back, of course. Volume up and down. Your flash. Uh, it's got the laser focus as well. Nice, big, huge display. Let's go in here and check out some of these specs. Stuff coming through. Like I said, G Vista. Check out the software. So you got Android 4.0. 442, which is great. Um, let's see what else. Let's check out the memory and so forth on this device. Storage. So it's only got 8 gigs of total storage, 3.72 available, but you can uh, use an SD card. So that's definitely low on that end, but this is a mid mid range device. This is more for somebody that wants a, a big screen. I believe it's just 720p on this device. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure exactly, but it looks, it still looks good, you know, regardless of whatever um, display quality it is. One quick thing I will do is I'm going to check out the battery on here, just to see how big the battery is. Oh, wow, and that's good. 3,200 milliamp hour battery, which is nice. You also have, there's the uh, micro SD card. Uh, goes on the back here right above the uh, SIM card. So it's going to pretty much wrap up the unboxing for now. We'll be back with a full review, of course. But I definitely like what I see. I mean, it's, it's a nice, big, mid-range phone, 4G LTE. Uh, you know, pretty much what more can you ask for? Thanks for watching, folks. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care.